addiction. It's a terrible thing. It can destroy your whole world. Family, friends, relationships. They can all crumble in the blink of an eye. But you don't care. And why should you? You're getting your hit, your fix. You're getting that one thing that propels you into the zone. And let's face it, we've all been in the zone at some point. For some, it's drugs. For others, alcohol, sex. I had a mate who was addicted to sex, Barry. I laughed at him at first. I just couldn't get my head around it. I mean, was sex addiction even a thing? But he was out of control. He continuously pursued destructive high-risk sexual activities with strangers. It became quite dangerous and he eventually sought professional help. Thank God. But my addiction, it's far worse than any of that. I've been plagued by it for nearly 17 years now and it's getting worse every single day. I, my friends, I'm addicted to eBay. Yeah, now you may snigger and laugh, but it's costing me a bloody fortune. It's all I think about. It's possessing every single second of my life and I just can't stop it. I can be bidding on up to 30 items a day. I have alarms set on my phone so I'm in the thick of the action at all times. And believe me, I can chill and snipe with the best of them. I'm ruthless in the pursuit of what I want. I become a totally different person when I'm scrolling through them pages. Oh, by the way, sniping is bidding on the item at the last second before someone can outbid you. And a shill is a fake bid made by me to push up the price of the item if I'm selling. Now, I don't just buy any old tat. I know far too many like that. You know, people who get drunk on a Saturday night and buy flippers worn by Jacques Cousteau or Northampton Town football programmes. No, no, no. I have a passion, you see. Let's just say, I'm buying my past, my childhood. Have you ever had a conversation with someone and they say, remember battleships? And you say, you mean that geometric plotting memory retention game from the Milton Bradley Company formed in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1860? And they say, eh, yeah, love that game as a kid. And I say, love it now. Bought it for 89 quid from a bloke in Norwich. Bargain. I've got four different versions. There's never usually a follow-up question. And you know why? Because they don't care. Well, I care. I bloody care. It's all part of my childhood, you see. I've got tomahawks, choppers and grifter bikes. I've got hundreds of action men and numerous accessories. Uh, Evil Knievel Stun Cycle and Sky Cycle. And a whole room full of Sabutio. My house, it's like an Aladdin's cave of toys and retro memorabilia. Am I living in the past? Yeah, damn right I am. Kids today have no idea. They just sit in the rooms playing Xbox or PlayStation whatever number they're on. I mean, when I was a kid, a fortnight was two weeks holiday in Skegness with the family. Today, it's all about sitting in a darkened room trying to be faceless people online. There's world championships. 16-year-olds can win millions playing games. It's mad. You couldn't win anything playing Kaplunk. But we were happy. We were having fun. We played out with real people. We fell out of trees and got dirty. I want that back. I want those days back now. Sorry. Just making a bid on an Eagle Transporter from Space 1999. Only £189. Bargain. 
The wife left me a couple of months ago. She didn't understand. We had an argument over something stupid. Well, a Starsky and Hutch annual to be exact. She said I was just buying crap for crap's sake and that I'd never read it. I said I don't need to read it, Barbara. It's all up here. But seeing that cover of the annual, seeing David and Paul standing in front of Zebra 3, the striped tomato, well, it just brought back memories for me as a kid. You know, Saturday nights, BBC One after match of the day. Anyway, she just left. Or oh, so I thought. A funny smell was coming from the back bedroom. Apparently a lot of scale extra had fallen on her as she tried to find the suitcase. Me and Barry once worked out that I own two and a half miles worth of track. Most of that was now on top of Barbara. She never stood a chance. Crushed by my passion. <laughs> I kind of like that. Anyway, I had to move out for a few days while the police do their thing. So I'm back in my parents' house at the moment. In my old bedroom. Listening to music on my old Amstrad stereo. I mean, it's like I'm ten years old again. Listening to Blondie and Adam and the Ants. I might watch The Sweeney at nine o'clock. Or a Hammer film if they let me stay up late. Come on, Mum. Gotta go now, my tea's ready. Damn. Got sniped on the Eagle Transporter.